the SAS video on how to manually enter data into SAS. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody's free to use it. Okay, so I've already got my editor open. I've commented what I'm going to start with here, which is manually enter data into SAS. And now we're going to get started. So the first thing, if we're going to create a data set in SAS, is we actually have to type in the word data. Uh, this is going to create a new data set. And it's often used in the lingo of SAS. So people will say, I know about data steps and I know about procs. Uh, procs are procedures and we'll learn those a little bit more later. We saw one in proc import. So now we have to give it a name. So uh, let's just call it, uh, let's see, data one. Why not? Because it's our first data. Uh, then what we were going to do is put a semicolon. That will get us, it will actually create the data frame then. And now we're going to tell it what we're going to input. So we're going to input various things. So we might input uh, ID of the subject. And if it's a number, it's fine. And then we might put uh, something like sex. Uh, and if it's a text, we're going to put a dollar sign after it. So in our case, we're going to have sex be male or female. And then we're going to have age, and it doesn't matter in SAS about capitalization. Uh, so you'll see me uh, lowercase, uppercase, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll make this uppercase this time just for consistency. Age, uh, maybe dose, and we can have uh, the response time. So I'm not going to call it response time. I'll just call it time. How about that? The, the amount of response time that it took. Uh, for this individual and then what we would do is put a semicolon on it Okay, now that this is going to do is it's going to give us in our data set what the columns are So one will be ID one will be sex one will be age one will be dose and one will be time Now the key here is is that dollar sign in there has to come after the variable that is a character So sex in this case is going to be a character uh, The next step that we're going to do is what's called data lines and this says where you're going to enter the data in manually. So here, let's say the ID was uh, P18 or P1823. Uh, notice now that I put a P here, this is now a text variable. So since it's text, I need to come back up here and put in here a dollar sign. And that's what I'm trying to get you to remember in this particular one. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is put in the gender. So it's going to be male. The age would be 39. The doshas they got was 0, 0.0, which means they were in the control group. And the time it took was 15.2 minutes. Okay. Now we're not going to add a semicolon until we're all the way done with the data. So now we're going to have P1833. They're going to be female, they're going to be 32, they actually got dose 0.1, and it took them 14.3 minutes. We're going to have patient uh, 1486, or 43, and they're male, they're 23, and they got dose 1.0, and they had an effect of 12.3. We have patient, let me look it up here, 1578. Uh, uh, female who is 21 got a dosage of 1.0 and her response time was 11.9 or 11.9 yeah there we go and so on we keep adding people as we go along here and this is a male they don't have to alternate or anything like this this is just the data that I have uh, 43 they got a 0 0.5 and their actual time that it took was uh, let's see here, 14.1. Okay, now we would do this all the way down until we're at the bottom of the data set, and then we put a semicolon. This tells SAS where to end it. If you put the semicolon at the end of each line, it's going to mess everything up. All the data needs to be together. Each row corresponds to a new row in the data set. So it looks for character returns to see where the data stops. Uh, then we just type run, and this should create a data set for us. Now, this is actually, I didn't put in a directory in here, but so this is going to default into work because I didn't put a library. Okay, I didn't put the library work in it, but I could do that. But that's where it's actually going to show up. So if I already have my Explorer over here opened up to work library. So when we can run this, we can see what happens real quick. And so we're going to highlight this. We're going to hit the little run guy here. And that's going to hopefully create a data set. And it did. 
So here is our data set. I'm first going to look at the log and make sure there wasn't any errors in this. And the errors would show up as red. And they didn't, so I feel good that everything worked well on that perspective. Uh, now I can come over here and open it up, and you can see I have ID, I have sex, age, dose, and time. Notice that these are left justified, indicating that they are text. That's important later when you look at data sets. Often, uh, sometimes numbers will get read in as text, and the way you'll have be able to kind of discern it visually is if you simply look at it, and you'll say, oh my gosh, it's left justified. The other thing you can do is on these columns, you can look at column attributes. So when you look at column attributes, it actually tells you something about it. So it's sex, it's length is eight, so it could be eight characters long, and its format is dollar sign eight dot, which is a SAS code for the different formats, and we'll worry about those later. But the key is, is it has a dollar sign again, which means that it is text. And notice over here it says type, and it says character, not numeric. So I'm going to close this one, and if I do the same thing over here and go to column attributes and bring it over in here, notice that this one says that it's numeric. So it actually does say what it is, and it does say how long things are. It's 8, uh, the format is best 12 dot, and so on. So those are different formats for later. Okay, so now that we know how to manually type in data, the other thing we might want to do is actually print it to the console. So there's a procedure that will do this. Uh, which is called proc print. So I'm going to do print to output window. So this is just another way to look at your data. Uh, we're going to use proc, which is in the lingo of people who use a lot of SAS, you'll hear the word data and proc. What procs do you use? Well, you know proc import. Now there's proc print. Data uh, is the data set we're going to use equals data one, semicolon, and then we're going to do run. Now, notice we have to keep putting run at the bottom of these statements because SAS doesn't know when you're done defining what you're looking at. So whenever you do something, it's going to be looking for this run statement to know when it says to execute it. Okay, I've read it all these statements. Now what do you want me to do? And when it sees run, then it knows to run it. Okay, so we'll run this real quick, highlight it, go up to the submit button, which looks like the running man, and hit that, and notice that a window popped up, and it says SAS system. Here it has the observations along it, ID, sex, age, dose, and time. Now, this you can't do anything with this data, but it does give you a way to explore and look at it. Okay, so we now know how to manually enter data into SAS. Let's move on to the next video.